Hi everyone. In this video I'm going to explain you how to control the speed of your simple DC brushed motor using solo in a sensorless manner and closed loop. So here we're going to work on a conventional DC motor with brushes, like two wires and very simple. The only thing you need to know is how to connect the wires of the motor to solo. As you can see in this video I have connected them to the B and C connectors on the, on the left side of myself and uh, here after connecting the motor the next thing you should do is the wiring of the Arduino or any other unit that sends the commands to solo so here I'm, gonna, I'm using an Arduino but it's not mandatory to use an Arduino you can use any anything that generates a PW pulse or analog output between 0 to 5 volt. Now, through this Arduino, I'm reading the values of potentiometer that I'm tuning with my hand. And depending on the value of the potentiometer, I'm setting a width of a PW pulse through this green wire to solo, in which I'm going to increase or decrease the width of the PW pulse, which subsequently will increase or decrease the speed of the DC motor like any other motors the same command and the same type of control so the code i wrote to control the width of the pw impulses sent from arduino to solo uh, depending on the value of the potentiometer voltage is like this we have the setup part in which we are setting the uh, the, the frequency of the pw impulses number three is connected to the speed and torque input of the solo and it will be carrying a PW pulse with 31 kilohertz almost inside the loop actually firstly we are reading the value of the voltage of the potentiometer and since the value of the uh, ADC values inside our Arduino are between 0 to 1023 and the values that you can write on the uh, uh, PWM duty cycles are between 0 to 255 we're just mapping the values from ADC to PWM and then sending them through the analog write here directly to the solo and this will cause us to have a different and variable duty cycle depending on the voltage read from the potentiometer this is actually what's going to happen when you increase or decrease the voltage level of the potentiometer by turning it into clockwise or counterclockwise directions as a, and as you can see the frequency of the PWM pulses are fixed and the only thing which is varying is the width of the pulses so increasing the width will increase the uh, phenomenon that you're controlling and decreasing it will decrease it before turning on the system the next thing you have to do is uh, pushing down these two piano switches just to go into DC brushed mode. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to push them down. And now the system is ready to be turned on. I turn it on. The motor is off. Everything is okay. You can see the green light here, which is glowing. And there is a, a blinking LED down there. So it means that everything is fine there is no error or anything since i'm gonna work in a closed loop manner with this dc motor since the speed control the real control is the closed loop control and to do that i have to push down this switch in which solo firstly will identify the motor parameters and then it will record the parameters and as long as the motor is the same, as long as the wiring is the same, it will keep them in its memory. Even if you turn it off or on, it's going to keep them. And if you change the motor or the wiring, you need to pull up again and down again. So to re-identify the parameters again. I'm going to do that and you will see that the motor will have some vibration. Very little vibration on this big motor, but in some motors maybe it's a little bit more. And then it's okay. Now you're ready to go. The next thing you have to do is pushing down again the next switch which will tell Solo to go into speed control mode which is this switch. Now we are in torque mode. I'm going to push it down. So 
it means that we're going to be in speed control mode. The next thing you have to do is tuning the PI controllers to control the speed of your brushed motor. But before that, before starting the motor, first we turn off everything. You have two potentiometers down here, which one of them is written as KP and the other one is written as KR. First of all, turn them both back in a clockwise direction all the way up to the locking point. So, in this case, we make sure both of the values are zero. In order to give a very brief description of what are these two uh, potentiometers, they're actually tuning some gains inside Solo for the speed controller. The first gain, which is known as KP, is acting like the immediate response of the system, of Solo, to any change of the speed of the motor. So you, if you want a faster response, you need to tune the KP. The KI, on the other hand, is the response of the drive and uh, speed control during time. So if you want to stabilize the response, if you want to respond a little bit slower but better during time, you tune the KI. Of course, these terms I'm talking about now are highly simplified. And uh, in some other videos, I'm going to deeply explain them. But for now, you could consider like that. So in order to tune them, I turn on everything. The first thing you have to do is tune a little bit, just a little bit, the KP, maybe five degrees or something in the counterclockwise direction. I'm going to do that and add a little bit of KI, always much less than KP, maybe one degree. And I'm going to see just the behavior of the motor, if it's okay or it's not, because for most of the motors, you just need to tune them a little bit and it remains the same forever. As long as the motor is the same, it's going to be the same. So I'm going to turn a little bit the potentiometer just to see how it behaves. Seems controlling the speed and I'm going to put some load and see if it resists. Seems fine. I'm going to go to higher speeds. And also the other thing is I'm feeling a little bit of vibrations here. So it means that my gains are not perfect. So I'm going to increase a little bit the KP. So the sound will be a little bit better. Also no vibration. And I'm going to increase a very, very tiny value also KI just to make it more stable. But it seems it's not nice. Maybe a little bit more KP. Okay, now it seems fine. I'm going to increase the speed more. Seems good. Going back to the very, very low speed. And you see that it even works in very low speed. It, to me, it seems like even less than a 60 RPM. Or even less and I'm going to hang. so as you see I can go all the way up to maximum speed and minimum speeds possible this is the minimum speed I think you can reach with this controller and all the way up to the higher speeds so this is the speed controller keeping the speed constant all the time here I'm gonna explain you a very nice feature of solo which is controlling and keeping the speed of your uh, DC brushed motor constant while the load on the shaft of the motor might change. So what does it mean? I'm going to show you some real time plots and I'm going to explain you on the plots what's going to happen. So I'm going to start now and as you can see the green plot is representing the speed and the red plot is representing the torque which the motor is exerting on the load which is connected to the uh, to the motor this load can be anything now i'm pushing the motor with my hand and i'm trying to keep it and exerting some external load on it and as you can see whenever i try to exert some load on the shaft of the motor the torque is increasing the red plot is going higher it means that the controller which is in this case is solo is trying to keep the speed constant keep the green plot constant by increasing the torque by increasing the amount of current inside the motor and everything happens automatically so as a result what you see is you see a fixed speed during the whole uh, course of uh, applying different loads and this is a very interesting feature 
for those applications they want to keep the speed constant all the time at a fixed speed so this is a speed controller and uh, it's very simple it's very easy especially with DC motors actually you you can run this without having any any lines of code or any other thing it's super simple but also super powerful thank you so much